Hi, this is E.T., and this here is Paul Anderson. He is pressing up a legitimate one-arm lift of 300 pounds, that's 136 kilos, and he's doing it twice. And this is Sri Chimnoy. He's moving with one arm, 7,063 pounds, that's 3,204 kilos. Now that lift appears to defy our understanding of body mechanics and the limits of the body's muscles, the tendons, the cartilages, the bones. Although strength and bodybuilding luminaries apparently endorse Jim Noy's strength demonstrations. Examples being Mike Katz, he was once a competitive bodybuilder. I think he was featured in the film Pumping Iron. He was the one whose T-shirt got stolen, supposedly. And then there was Bill Pearl, among the best physique stars ever. Here is Bill Pearl speaking at an event featuring Sri Chimnoy. I've been a bodybuilder for over 40 years of my life. At times, I've been playing one of the strongest Mr. Matthews that I've ever had. But I can say with all true sincerity, what you're going to see on stage when the feats of strength that Guru is going to perform, I doubt seriously if any of them I could do today myself. Here's an example of Jim Noy performing a one-arm lift. This with 151 pounds. That Notice two things. His arms are already straight. And he appears to lift with his lower body, kind of like a quarter squat. And notice that the dumbbells roll up the rounded metal enclosure. And his deltoids, the shoulders, appear to be only barely employed, as they would be employed if balancing a uh, dumbbell outside of an enclosure. Another time, Jim Noy appears to struggle with a lighter weight. This is 145 pounds. That's 66 kilos. Again, it appears to be a straight arm leg lift. And the bar seems to roll up a bit over a rounded enclosure. What about this calf raise? Purportedly of 1,500 books that Jim Noy was said to have authored. Was it a legitimate calf raise? Or did he, as Bill Pearl claimed, hold it? And check out these seated presses. Were they legitimate lifts? Or are we seeing leverage mechanics going on with this machine? E.T. doesn't know. Are Chim Noy's hands moving laterally or are they moving up? E.T. is in no position to reliably judge Sri Chim Noy here. But much evidence does exist regarding other old-time lifters, plus some even today, suggesting the hyping of poundages actually lifted and the point is to bring in more customers with money. Keep in mind this quote. Even the U.S. Olympic weightlifting coach was reported to have put on demonstrations on occasion using plates that weighed less than what was marked on them. On the other hand, we have men such as Marvin Eder, Roy Hilligan, each one weighed way under the heavyweight limit, but each clean and jerked, using official barbells, lifting in front of large audiences, more weight than the Olympic heavyweight champions clean and jerk. And consider this. Going back to 1977, Laura Schultz, a grandmother, age 63, of Tallahassee, Florida, not far from E.T., lifted with one arm the rear end of a car, a Buick, 
while using the other arm to pull away her grandson, who had been pinned under the rear tire. Now, other examples of older women lifting cars have been around for years, but some may be apocryphal. The point is this. The mind is capable of doing many great things, including forcing the body to perform the seemingly impossible. And we do know that Eastern mystics are trained, in many cases, to themselves school the mind to get the body to do things that most of us cannot do, such as heat the body up to withstand extreme cold. So, is it beyond the pale of reason to suggest that a 50-something, 150-pound man like Jim Noy can show preternatural strength? E.T. leaves it up to you to figure this one out. And that's the story. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Another thing, that grandmother, Laura Schultz, who lifted the rear end of the Buick, she did not talk much after that incident. But she did say it had a life-altering implication, in particular regarding her realization that she had far more potential than she had previously thought. The result? She went back to college. She earned an advanced degree, went on to become a college professor at age 70. And that's it. Type in your comments below. Subscribe to this channel. You see the bell icon? Tap that. You'll be notified of new uploads. And that like button. This is important. Hit that. YouTube will then make these videos more available to others. Thank you.